All right, I hope you all are doing well today. It is time that we get to talk about Update 9. It just released, so we are making a video to talk about the ins and outs of what actually is being changed, what's new, what you should look out for in Update 9. So first, I want to thank Iskul and his team, obviously, for everything that they did with this mod pack. I do want to mention, I have heard a rumor that if you summon Eternals in the overworld, um, that it can crash your game and cause some very serious problems. So that's one thing I do want to mention before we get started. It could have already been patched in that most uh, recent patch that I saw, or the, uh, the the second release, or it could be patched since I released this. Uh, but just letting you know about that, just be weary and look that up beforehand. Okay, so first things first. This is a brand new world. What do I start with? I start with this Vault Hunters book, and I start with a quest book now, because now there is a quest system. So it's a book you uh, get when you start the game. Uh, you can also make this into a keybind, I believe, uh, but it helps you get started with the game and then you complete tasks and receive rewards. So I'll go ahead and show you. Our first one is to, I believe it's just to read this here. Um, and it kind of tells you a lot about uh, the, the different uh, game modes and stuff like that. So yeah, that, is uh once you once you read that then you then you have that completed and then you move on to the next task and as you see you get rewards so i got this cooked vault steak okay so second thing uh that we do need to go over is they have changed the skill points um so they it went ahead and automatically reset all of the skill points that you do have right now um, in your world, if you if you have a current world, also leveling is now the only way to get skill points. There is, I believe, a uh, additional point you can get from completing uh, the quest line as well. All right, so materials for the crafted skill orbs will be refunded to you, aside uh, from the skill essence. Uh, the the, the materials will be refunded to you. So you will get those back. Uh, and the, the cost and powers of all the abilities and talents have been reworked. So now there's an increase in effectiveness by 25%. So they have changed a lot with that. So they went ahead, they basically rehauled the entire thing. So they went ahead and gave you everything back. So that way uh, you, you don't lose as much in your current worlds that you have. This is a really good time. A lot of people are starting over, um, and I understand why they might want to do that. Uh, up to eight was a lot, but this is honestly maybe even more. All right, so Lucky Hit is a, is a new thing uh, that has been added, and Fatal Strike was removed, and it, it was reintroduced as part of this new mechanic, and Lucky Hit can be increased through the gear. So, yeah. All right, guys, so instead of just telling you about uh, the abilities, I'm going to show you some of them uh, so that way you get a good feel for them first. So first off is Shell, and it's ability that I will display uh, right now for you guys. All right, so I need to activate it. All right, and then watch this. As soon as they hit me, they get stunned for a little bit, as you can see there. And then I get a chance to do whatever I want to do to them. So they just can't overwhelm me um, anymore. All right, so let's go ahead and show you the uh, different, different specializations for this bad boy. So as you can see, the uh, first part of the ability is while active, the shell will give you the hardened uh, skin, and basically it just uh, gives a chance to stun mobs uh, when you get hit. 
The Porcupine increases Thorns damage uh, while giving a resistance to durability, so that's nice. And then the Quill uh, specialization increases Thorns damage and chains Thorns to additional targets. So that's a definitely an interesting one uh, for you to try out. All right, so the next one we are going to display is a pretty neat one. Uh, I actually am pretty fond of this one. I might even use it. It is the totem ability. So I will go ahead and display uh, how this is used. I will go ahead and place down a totem. And as you see, I get hit. But if I'm within a certain range, I am uh, getting the rejuvenation effect for this totem. I don't, yeah, the zombies aren't getting it, uh, but other players around you will get this, uh, and this lasts for 45 seconds, I believe. And obviously that might change if you upgrade it and stuff like that. The basic one is the rejuvenation one. Let's go ahead and go that through this with you guys. The rejuvenation one, and that does what it, you think it does. Heals players with inside its radius for uh, duration of the cast. Then the hatred applies a small amount, a small part of the player's damage to mobs in a radius. The spirit uh, specialization it applies mana regeneration to all players inside its radius. And then lastly, the wraith one. Uh, it increases damage of players inside of the radius. So a really neat one uh, to display for sure. I might even end up using it myself. All right, we have another one to showcase for you guys. And this one is called Empower. And it allows you to outspeed your enemies. So let's go ahead and see how this, uh, see how this works. So I just used it. And as you can see... Whoa, I am moving a lot faster, for sure. Now, I will have you in mind, uh, I did upgrade these to the fullest of their ability, so that way you could truly see, um, but I think that just burned out all my mana. It's a like a mana toggle kind of ability. Um, but let's go ahead and show you the different uh, specializations for that one. I believe that there's, yeah, there's just two for this one, so it's the... Uh, the default, which grants movement speed for the player, as well as any nearby player within the uh, within the aura. So if you are playing with other people, it's a great a great one to have um, for sure. And then you have the ice armor, which slows down uh, slows down mobs in a radius around the player. So that's a really cool ability. I would definitely use the uh, speed up one. I find myself in a lot of situations where I want to get out of somewhere real quick. Um, I feel like that might be really helpful. So that is a cool ability to have added into update nine. All right. And then another one that I am really excited for, and probably a lot of people are too, and it might even be one of the ones people use the most. That is going to be javelin. I'm, I've not tried this out yet, so not sure and look it launches a javelin just like it says on the tin and it, i can uh just launch a bunch of these it looks like okay and i was basically able to take those guys out with just using the javelin um now i will let you know there are specializations for this one as well so obviously you have uh your typical one is just the default knocks any mob hit by it back and it does damage as well uh, based on your weapon damage so i obviously don't have the best uh weapon so it wasn't doing the most damage you have piercing which pierces through a number of mobs on the impact um which is right here and then you have scatter and that one's really cool it scatters the number of uh javelins on impact which bounce several times. Um, I really want to check that one out. We will have to see. And then Sight, which scans an area on impact, revealing nearby chests and enemies. So that one, that one's probably going to be the one I would use, honestly, and just use it to, to check around for 
nearby chests and stuff. I will go ahead. I'm gonna uh, check out this specialization with the scatter, just to see just to see what it uh, what it looks like real quick. All right. Hopefully, I. Oh, come on. I I. <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. Okay. There you go. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, and whoa! Did you see it kind of bounce around like that? It uh did kind of go crazy there. Oh my goodness! That is that is wild. Um, maybe it's actually better to even go like like on the. I don't even know what the best strategy is for. That one feels a little little wacky for me. Um, why can't I use it? Look at it. There you go. It has a lot of, a lot of uh, mana for it. Um, well, you got to check that one out with us. So that would I, I think it's pretty cool. I feel like a lot of people find very interesting ways to use it for sure. Now we have one that just sounds cool. Basically, it's Smite and is a toggle ability and it summons bolts of lightning. Um, so that's pretty pretty epic. Let's go ahead and check this default out and see what it what it looks like. Uh, hopefully, okay. I just I just put it on. It's it's draining mana. Let's see. Okay. Oh, it just killed a, a villager. That is not necessarily what I wanted. Okay. I think you got the, the gist of how that works. Um, but yeah, it, it, uh, kills mobs within your area. Uh, it does not, uh, do that. That's a, that's a pretty neat one. It didn't even feel like the drain was, was too heavy on that. Um, so yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Uh, it, it does have some specializations. The default one, it just periodically strikes a bolt of lightning, uh, on a mob within your range. The, uh... Archon version, it turns players into sparks uh, touched by mobs uh, that get struck by lightning, which is pretty interesting. And then Thunderstorm, um, it rains down lightning bolts, strikes mobs within range fast and repeatedly. I imagine that one drains your uh, mana a lot quicker, but it is probably a lot more effective is kind of what I imagine. So that's a pretty cool one. And I, I feel like a lot of people are definitely going to be using it. It feels very powerful. All right, we came outside for this one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you. Uh, you know Dash normally uh, how it works, right? It goes like this. And uh, you, get, you get the normal Dash that, that you get, you know. Um, well, they have specializations for Dash now. So you can turn your Dashes... Uh, into a bullet and basically a percentage uh, you deal a percentage of your damage to any mob that you hit with your dash so yeah that's that's pretty neat um, but that's not the one I'm really as interested in uh, there's a new specialization called warp that that shoots an arrow and it teleports a player to the impact it also if it hits a mob or player and uh, it'll switch with them so let's go ahead and try this one out. Um, don't know if there is a necessarily something we can. There was a little crab around here somewhere. We'll we'll test that out. Okay, so I just shot that around, and it's literally just like a like an ender pearl. Oh my goodness, a little latch there. Um, did I come? Did I come from over here? I don't even remember where I came from. See how far it shot me? Like that's crazy. That's that's like so good. I do have this one. Um, all the way uh, leveled up, and it doesn't have you don't have to worry about uh, running into stuff. I am gonna try and find us a, a mob real quick. Uh, see if I can shoot it. Okay, okay, okay. And you see, look, he transported over there. Very nifty, very cool. Thanks for helping me out there, bud. All right, so th that's a cool different uh, thing they did to Dash that is gonna be. Really interesting. I think I'm going to go probably for the warp. Uh, I really like that idea, to be honest with you. So, who knows? Alright, and this is a old one that just also has a new specialization that I I really find very cool. I think, I think it's going to be super 
used by a lot of people. Um, Taunt has a new specialization, but I will just go ahead and show you instead of uh, talking about it. Um, so that way you get a, a better feel. Okay, so I just charmed all those boys, and now they they fight for me instead. Um, instead of that. So see? And now they are going to go back to not being charmed. But at least for a small amount of time, if you're getting overwhelmed, you can create a little a force to fight for you instead. Um, one thing I do want to mention while I'm on the topic of taunt, uh, they actually changed uh, the base taunt. So now you do increase damage when you anger the mobs too. So that's a, a little bonus to it. Uh, that they made it a little bit better. And again, we have another one that has a new specialization, and that is Mana Shield. It is a Retribution is the new specialization. So I'm going to explain this one a little bit. Um, basically, less damage uh, is absorbed, but it adds a percentage of the absorbed damage to mobs in a radius upon the next hit. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and explain that hopefully uh, pretty well. Uh, let's go ahead and I I don't know if I did it right. I don't know if I did it right. I don't think I did. I don't think I did it right that time. Okay, let's get rid of these guys real quick. I wonder what was going on. Uh, uh, this if if this is the case, okay. Let's see. Let's see what 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 we did wrong here. Okay, mana. Do we have it here? And we have the mana shield. Melon. Specialization. Okay. Um. It's a radius of three and it has a cooldown of 60 seconds. Evine just in. Maybe you can't use this one in the vault. Uh, or not in the vault. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but it is something to note, I suppose, um, that we were not able to, to do this one properly out here as where we were doing all of the other ones. Interesting. Maybe the specialization is not uh, at the right point right now. I'll have to look into that one later, but uh, you may come across the same problem yourself. Here is another one that is a new specialization for one that uh, that has not that has uh, already been out. So it is Ghost Walk, but it's called Spirit. Now let me go ahead and show you what Spirit does. Okay. Um, it did, it did absolutely nothing. It, it may not work in the, uh, in the overworld is what I'm thinking. Some of these you may have to go ahead and try, uh, doing in not the other, <laughs> in not the overworld, um, to, to make them work. Um, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and do those bad boys. Not in, not in here then. Let's see if they work in a bowl, those two. All right, we need to be very quiet because we have come into a vault. Uh, we have figured out what the problem was. We just had too many things bound to one to one thing, and I don't I don't know exactly why that was a problem because we couldn't use them. But whatever. If if you run into that problem, just just so you know. Um, let's go ahead and see how this works, shall we? A little, I'm a little nervous to try it out, to be honest. Okay, so... No, nothing looks different, but... Okay, it went away, it went away. Okay, wait, wait. Let's see, let's see. He can see me right now. Um, let's do a little... Test here in a second once I get charged. Okay, I can't... Can't quite use it again. That's okay. I I don't. It is it is a long cooldown for this bad boy. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Uh, this is uh, just what it would look like 
Goodness. Is it still cooling down? Okay, there we go. Okay, let's try this out with maybe more people too. Okay, okay. Look, they don't even know where I am. And then you just get out of here. Boom. Oh, that was nice. That was pretty solid, actually. Um, but I did, I did beef it up, I think, as much as I could, so... I'm not sure that that is the best specialization, um, to be honest with you. Let's let's see. I did I did beef it up, right? Yeah, I did. I did beef it up all the way, and it's oh goodness, oh goodness, oh that scared me, and it still was like just a few seconds. So just something I guess to something I guess to note about the about that ability. All right, it's time for us to try out the mana shield because I'm sure it was a similar situation. Um, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and see what this one what this one will do for us. I'm sure there's another spawner. Okay, and then I put on the mana shield, and as you can see, it looks like they just really can't do as much damage. Oh, I have the retribution on. Um, as well, and look how much more damage I was doing to those boys. They couldn't even handle it. Um, so yeah, there's a new specialization. Let's go ahead and show you. For, uh, for uh, Mana Shield, that's what I was telling you about earlier. Um, and that does more damage the more you get hit, basically. It's kind of like Bide in Pokemon, if that makes sense. So a really cool one. And yeah, that's kind of all the new uh, specializations updates, uh, or new specializations and new skills or abilities that you can. All right, and then there's some more updates that you need to know for the abilities that I'm going to go ahead and tell you about uh, right now. So for Nova, basically, from what I understand, the damage uh, is nerfed for that. Uh, but Frost Nova, they have added hypothermia to frozen mobs, which permanently slows, and I believe it does uh, every three seconds, or it does three damage every three seconds, something, something like that. It does damage uh, over time to them. Um, and then Vein Miner, un unfortunately, Fortune was removed. Actually, I, I agree with them. Basically, they were saying they didn't want uh, people just to have to spec into the skill to get what everyone uh, already was going to have to get. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. Mega Drill, Mega Jump Drill, I believe it was removed. Let's go ahead and check and make sure um, that that is the case. Yes. It looks like uh, there is this new one, which maybe, or maybe that was already there before, um, which is Dig. Instead of launching you. Uh, in the air, it drills you downwards in, in the box, breaking them down on the way. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, yeah, some of these abilities just don't work with the overworld as well. Um, worth worth noting, too. Um, Hunter, uh, any the unspecialized, which is what I did before. I know a lot of people ran unspecialized Hunter, too. Um, it only reveals wooden chests now. So it's not going to be as beneficial as it was uh, before where you can get every kind of chest um so you, you may you may not, you may want to do something else um let's go ahead and take a look at hunter so as you can see um there's a gilded living ornate coins now um and then this one is just wooden uh and then this one is the is the uh it does objectives yes um so yeah that, that's changed Cool, uh, very interesting. And then uh, Taunt, like I said, the increased damage dealt when angering the mobs, which is gonna be a huge boon for that ability. Um, Stonefall has changed quite a bit. Uh, the, there, there's knockback to effect that, there's a knockback effect that happens when, uh, to the mobs in the landing radius where you land. For the basic one, for the default. Now for Surefoot, it mitigates some of the fall damage, I believe up to 50%, uh, 
um, at the max level, but it fires Nova when you land. Uh, you may have to be specced into Nova, I'm not entirely sure. Um, now for the cold snap, I believe you don't have to be specced into Nova, uh, but it mitigates most of the fall damage and can go up to 100%, uh, but it releases Frost Nova on the impact of the landing. So there were other rebalances that were made to abilities, uh, but those were kind of the biggest ones that were made. Okay, so changes to talents um, we're going to talk about. Now their biggest thing is uh, that there are talent groups that kind of limit the number of skill points that you can be, uh, they can spend in specific areas. Um, but we'll get into that a little bit more here in a second. Um, stone skin. It increases knockback resistance while above 80% health. It's a new one. Um, sorcery is a new one. It's a new talent. And it increases mana region at your max health. Uh, these are going to be things that like are happening all the time. You don't have to worry about them. Uh, turning them on or off. Just to let you know. That's kind of what the talent is. Um, witchery increases soul chance at full mana. Uh, then you have Prudent, which grants chance to not consume Vault Potion, which Vault Potions, we'll get into later, is a new thing. Uh, Alchemists extend the duration of a Vault Potion. And then you have Nucleus, which grants chance to cause explosion around player when killing... Uh, when killing a stunned mob. We can go ahead and show you some of these things. Here's the talents that, that, that you do have over here. Uh, so just, just letting you know a little bit about what are these things, these things do do. Um, I'm not sure in what order I'm just, I was reading, I, I took notes from the, from the patch notes. Um, so yeah, you can see these here, sorcery, uh, witchery, and then you have Alchemist and Prudent. Uh, Nucleus, where is that bad boy? Um, yeah, and you have to have, you, these two are mutually exclusive. Um, but yeah, it, it grants chance to cause explosion. I do believe you need to have, this talent requires levels in Nova. Nova. This one does not require um, levels in Nova. This one does not require levels in Nova. Um, so you need to look and make sure that you are getting mutually exclusive, not mutually exclusive things and things that uh, work together. So days is just, it's, it's, uh, it also does things to stun mobs, but it increases damage instead. So when they're stunned, you do the damage. Um, the stunned would be like that ability that we were talking about earlier. Which one was that? Um, the shell ability. So you could combination those two things really well um blizzard has a chance of uh casting frost nova uh when you kill a slowed mob so you could again uh kind of cooperate with some of the other abilities and make that happen frostbite has a chance of frostbite for duration upon hitting a slowed mob i believe it also yeah this is what i was going to say if, it, if they get hit again, they will shatter and die instantly regardless of their health. So I don't know if you could do that on uh, uh, elites or anything like that. Or I have no idea what the, what the ramifications of that are. Uh, Blight is, uh, it applies weakness upon hitting poison mobs. Nothing crazy, just, just simple. Um, then you got Toxic Reaction, which causes a poisonous, uh, chance of poisonous reaction around the player when killing a poison mob. So that's a very interesting one. Then you have your uh, groups, is what, what we were talking about at the very beginning. So you can only put a certain amount of points, like I think I could only put a certain amount of points in Arthropod. Like I only get 10 points to put in all of this. So if I want to be really good at Nether Mastery, or if I want to be good at any of these, then I can only put 10 total in this whole group. Um, which means I can't master all these things, if that makes sense. Six here, and then ten here. So, um, yeah, that's how that works. Uh, they have these new uh, masteries, which I think makes a lot more sense. It's just simple. It's arthropod mastery, which is increased damage against spiders. And you got undead mastery, increased damage against the undead. 
uh, Illager Mastery, which I'll get into later, um, increases the damage against Illagers. Then you have Nether Mastery, which increases damage against Piglins. Um, then you have the Lucky Hit group, which I believe Lucky Hit... Um, yeah, yeah. So so then they, this is how they kind of replace Fatal Strike. Now they have it as a, as a part of this now. Um, Fatal Strike increases the damage dealt uh, with the Lucky Hit. Um, and... This, the, all of these happen when, when a lucky hit occurs. Um, so mana steal regain a percentage max mana. Life leech is regain a percentage max uh, health. And then cleave adds cleave effect when you do it. Um, so that's pretty neat. Then you have the javelin. This is this is cool because it really enhances the javelin ability that we were, ta we were showing displaying earlier. Um, so you have this one which does the throw power which uh, just increases the speed at which it's thrown, which I could see a lot of reasons, I guess, as to why you'd want to do that. I'm not entirely sure of how you would use that, but maybe you, you want to get that bullet down there really quick. Then you got damage, which just increases the damage. Then you got conduct, which it grants the javelin's conducting power, which may, gives it the ability to transfer uh, any on-hit effect aside from lucky hit. Um, so that could have a lot of really cool effects. And then you have Ethereal, which has a chance to not consume uh, mana when you throw the Javelin. So we basically went over all of those there with you guys. Um, but yeah, a lot of cool stuff. I, I really like the groups. I think that's going to help. I like the way they did the Masteries. I think that's going to help a lot with new people getting into the game and understanding uh, how to play the game. As if this update didn't have enough for us, uh, it just keeps on keeps on giving. Um, we have actually something new now, and we'll go ahead and get into it. And that is going to be your, uh, where is it? Do 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 talents, and then here we are, your expertise. Um, so this is something new that we have. Uh, yeah, and so it's gained passively a point in that every five levels that you get. Um, and it's expensive to reset these ones. It's not the same. We're just gonna go over the new ones. Uh, so that way you guys get a chance to, to learn a little bit more about the newer ones. Uh, but you can always read through these and uh, figure out a little bit more yourself. Uh, Infuser, it has a chance to apply negative modifier uh, upon, uh, it has a chance not to apply the negative modifier upon applying the Vault Catalyst. So whenever you apply a Vault Catalyst, there's a chance not to have a negative modifier pop up. Mystic, it lowers the chance for Vault uh, Crystal to not become, uh, to, to so it doesn't become cursed or unmodifiable. Um, Trinketer, it has a chance to not consume the Vault Trinket, when you are entering a vault. So that is a really cool thing if you have a bunch of, of vault trinkets that you're trying to, uh, and, and they're good and you don't wanna lose them, you know, that's really good. Uh, Divine, it gives a base affinity to for all the vault gods as you level up, it gives you more, uh, making it reliable for uh, gaining favors. Um, obviously, Unbreakable does what Unbreakable, uh, what it sounds like, chance not losing durability on gear uh, when you when getting hit or using them. Um, bartering, cost reduction, items sold. Angel, I will go over a little bit on uh, this one because this has been reworked a little bit. Uh, they actually have uh, changed it. Now it's an Angel block, and that grants creative flight for 64 block radius. So it's not exactly just free flight everywhere. Um, so yeah, that's that's how that works, and I imagine you can't just use this in the, I don't know, it doesn't say you can't use it in the... Yeah, yeah, angel blocks cannot be placed inside the vault. So I figured that would, that would make a lot of sense. Uh, artisan gains a chance to not consume crafting potential when re-rolling. Fortunate is uh, just, that's what they've changed uh, fortune to be. It's just plus one, plus two on this bad boy right here. Um, just always. It, that's just what it is. Uh, then experience is the same as before. Uh, lucky altar is a chance to gain uh, just a, a lucky roll on your on your vault altar. And then a new one is the bounty hunter, 
Uh, this one reduces the refresh and abandon period for a bounty, as well as an additional bounty slot. Um, so that is a really cool uh, thing that they have done uh, for expertise. I think that's going to really hopefully help a lot. So uh, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the research changes. Uh, there has been a major change to that in the form of alchemy being added in. Uh, but before we talk about alchemy, I do want to uh, highlight they have done one other thing to you. Um, where is botany? Do, 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 do. Um, they have added... I can't, I can't find it here, but I'm sure it's here somewhere. Um... Yes, here it is. Uh, Batania fluid, uh, Flux Field, uh, and that is just allows Batania users to produce RF from Batania's mana. Um, yeah, that out of the way, just wanted to let you know that they have added that into it. Uh, but the big thing is that they now have Vault Potions. Um, so yeah, it's a new way to heal, add player modifiers, um, and only... The first vault potion that you bring into a vault is functional inside the vault. But don't get worried, um, there are multiple charges. There are six charges and they reset at the start of the vault. Uh, a charge is used when you consume it, but the charges regenerate after you kill mobs or you wait a certain amount of time. They are crafted in the crafting table. Um, there are four tiers of them, the Vial, Potion, Mixture, and Brew. Each tier has an additional modifier slot. Vial, though, it has none. Vial is the only tier that is not locked behind any research, just to let you know. So you don't have to, you can go ahead and craft one when you first start. Well, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't really know what, what it requires. Um, go ahead and check, though. You... Let's go, ahead and, let's go ahead and do a check. All right, so there's the vial right here. Um, and it's super easy, actually. Mana glass. Oh, actually, it's not. Um, here it is. This is what we want. This is what we want. Okay, this, this is all it is. Look. And then to make a brew, it looks like you do... You do this bad boy right here. I don't know why it's showing me that in the same, the same thing. Um... Very interesting. And then you have the mixture, mixture, and then you have the potion. Okay, you have all this stuff here that you can, that you can do, okay? Um, but, but, um, but uh, the vault potions can be modified at an alchemy lab, and that is locked behind uh, research. So just letting you know, you will have to do uh, the potion research in order to actually get that one. Um, so that one's this one right here where you get the alchemy table. Um, some modifiers are gated behind discovery also to mention. And uh, those are discovery in the alchemy archives which can be found inside dungeons in the vaults. Um, so it's uh, not just super straightforward. Uh, vanilla potions are still allowed in the vaults. However, why is this, why is there a, a random, a random, that is weird, why was that showing up like that, that is interesting, anyway, um, yeah, it was like showing up on the, on the, on the screen in a weird way, anyway, uh, vanilla potions, totally loud, uh, but they are going to give you a penalty, and it's called Valera's Wrath. And it's received when you consume a potion of healing. Uh, basically, it decreases your healing efficiency by 20%. And it goes all the way up to 80%. So it's nothing to play around with for sure. Um, so let's go into some quick updates for the vault weapons. Or the vault here as well. Uh, vault weapons, they now uh, have an implicit attack damage reduce and uh it's equal for both weapon types prefix modifier for attack damage 
has been increased um, so now there is more choice basically uh, it's not just like straight up what you get is what you given uh, you can do a lot as far as modifying your stuff chaining uh, basically it counts with attack it uh, competes with attack damage now um, but it can I, I don't I, there's there's some different uh, things that are going on with chaining now and basically it's not got as much with the attack damage uh, from what I understand, but it does roll alongside the on hit modifiers. So you can get some extra modifiers on the uh, on these bad boys. All on hit modifiers are now considered suffixes. Axes have increased range now. So instead of giving them more damage to make them more viable, uh, they now have a longer range and then attack range can now be rolled on vault swords as a suffix okay so gear proficiency uh everyone's been uh, complaining about the uh their ability to get the crafting proficiencies up and stuff like that well now they have lowered the requirements to maximize proficiencies and they rebuilt the tiers uh and the way they're gained players can now max all the proficiencies now they don't have to worry about going all out into one specific one uh recycling has changed uh now there's a new crafting recipe for vault alloy that only uses vault vaulterite ingot um let's go ahead and show you that uh vaults i don't know what is going on <laughs> uh vault alloy and it should only use oh goodness oh goodness I'm getting beat up over here. I am getting beat up. We're going to have to go in here. I don't know if I can. Uh, Alright, let's just do it. This. Okay. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Um, Let's go ahead and show you guys this. Yeah, see, now they have this new recipe with only vaults right. Vaults writing it. So that's cool. Um... And now there's a percent increase to getting uh, uh, fa faceted focuses. Uh, gear modifiers, new uh, changes, thorns uh, has added thorns chance and damage as implicits on vault shields. So now this makes shields more offensive um, and competes more with uh, the idols. Reach has been set to a limit of seven in the vaults. Uh, which is two more than the base because it's just been so easy for people to uh, just get the POIs and in the past. So there's just no, they, they, they've just decided that's the way to do it. Baneful, Holy, and Spiteful, there's just been a name change. Baneful is Arthropod's damage, Holy is Undead damage. Now Spiteful is Illager damage, and uh, now there is Nether damage in the vault. Fear Cloud um, is an effect cloud uh, that causes mobs not to attack the player for a time so it's just like fear but it can be rolled on your uh your weapons down vault tier the vault tools uh the affinities have been changed a, a little bit uh as you know before it was kind of hard to instantly break chests. it was a little bit complicated with the number game and everything uh so now there's been a decrease for the requirements for uh instantly mining those chests efficiency five plus affinity breaks instantly now uh, but there is going to be strong boxes, which I, I might be able to, to show you what that looks like here. Um, yeah, uh, as you can see here, this is what they look like. And they come in at uh, level 50. And they contain double the loot of their type, but they need to be broken only. You can't get inside them uh, just normally. So that is interesting, for sure. Let's go into mob spawning. Uh, every spawner, with the exception of dungeons and challenge rooms, is now an ambush uh, spawner. So that's really interesting. Uh, Going to change the game a lot, honestly. And they have added mob groups. Um, so now every spawner will now spawn with specific groups of mobs randomly. And that is going to be a horde, which is a large number of weak mobs. A tank, which is a small number of defensive mobs. Assassin, which is average number of mobs that are a bigger threat in that theme specifically. And then Mix, which is an average number of mobs that are frequent in that theme. Mob types, um, so there's new mobs in the vaults, including 
illagers, which is why that uh, damage is, matters now for the illagers. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. And then mobs that do spawn in different themes, they're going to vary a lot. Um, the themes are going to really make a, a big difference as to what you see apparently now. So that's cool. Soul shards, uh, there is an e increased drop rate from mobs. Uh, they said a thousand percent. That's kind of crazy, but uh, that sounds awesome. Uh, number of soul uh, chance on vault gear has been reduced to deal with that change though. Um, soul shards also only spawn from the first wave of any spawner now. So as before, they you could just farm them. Now you can't. Um, black market. The shop now only sells more valuable items, and buying it puts it out of stock. So now you get three items. They're out. They once you buy it, they're out of stock, and then it, it resets every two hours. There's no more just buying cheap stuff. Um, and then resetting it. That doesn't how it happens, but you should only be able to find valuable stuff there now. The random item price has increased to 1500 though, just to deal with the higher quality of stuff. All right, we're in the home stretch, guys. Just a little bit more uh, quality of life stuff. There is now a skill altar. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys what that, what that looks like. All right, and that is this boy right here. He allows the players to save their builds and swap between uh, for less regrets, basically, with their with their different skill builds and stuff like that. So it's pretty neat. Uh, a little quality of life change they added. Uh, then they have the identification stand. And I'll show you what this looks like. Oh my goodness, that is a weird looking thing right there. Um, anyway... <laughs> That is going to identify all the vault gear in your inventory at once. Uh, vault Enchanter. Let's go ahead and show you what this is. This is honestly going to be a huge one. I know it's at the end of the list. But uh, that's cool. I like the way that looks. Um, as you can see, chromatic iron blocks. Um, this is five emeralds and one level. And then you can add any enchantment to any vault gear. And then also it allows you to swap between incompatible enchantments, such as Fortune and uh, Silt Touch. So very neat, very awesome. They have added some more game modes for you um, if you're interested in checking those out. Uh, they have added Vault Loot, Vault Mode, and Vault Crystal Mode. Uh, a little variation on some of those make it uh, just the game a little quicker. Some of them make it... A little harder and uh yeah just go look at uh what those specifically mean uh for yourself and decide what you want to do um lastly i do want to mention that there is increased durability for the magnets i know i myself was really struggling with uh magnets breaking like crazy so in update 9 that is not going to be the case any longer well i hope you guys enjoyed this uh little update and if you found it helpful, leave a like and subscribe. Uh, we we do our own uh, Let's Play on Sky Vaults for Vault Hunters. I just, I didn't see any good uh, updates at the moment for this, at least for videos. And uh, there probably is a ton out by the time that this one came out. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure that everyone had the chance to understand a little bit more about uh, the update. Because this is a huge one. Um, in my opinion, it, it really changes, it changes the game completely. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed, like I said, leave a like, subscribe, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. See you soon.